Hello, welcome back to Ark Knights. I'm gonna start by saying <clears throat> happy belated 4th of July. I forgot that it was the 4th already, so I didn't say it in the last video, so this is gonna come up on the 5th. Happy belated 4th of July, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. My name is Plume, formerly of the Pontifical Cobra's Lateran. I will be your sword and your wing. Start with the recruitments, and then I'm going to get into this is intern the last story bit. From now on. Uh, nine hours. Uh, do I have an expedited plan? No, I do not. Use the last potential for her. She costs one less. Okay, that was that. Oh, if you hear fireworks, it's because it's still the fourth. Huh. I reckon it won't be easy to slack off once I become an actual oh, staff closed. member here. Okay, if you hear fireworks, I'm sorry. Uh, the window's closed and there's not much I can do. Uh, yes, I have a two. Plan. Uh. Everyone has a two. Okay. Send it to the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes it easy for me because I. I suck at this kind of stuff. Oh, wait, save. Close. Nice, that's a cute little room. Gives more morale. Yes, ma'am! What is this? Event stage duration. Oh, week. Clear main story 1 10. Spicy bottle tree sap. Okay. The Grinning Valley event stages will be open for a limited time. Players can be the spicy bottle tree sap by clearing all stages except for the Annihilation and Extreme mode to redeem event rewards and information fragments at the Sand Beast Cave. That's cool. Uh, this will also be going on. Boom. Yeah, we're back. Ugh. Uh, I, is it over? Did we win? Ouch! Good, at least you can still feel your arm. Now get up if you're still alive. Ah, take it easy, Charles. Enough fooling around. Harold has enough work to do without you adding to it. Get to the lakeside if you can still walk. Patch yourselves up if you can. I need a vol few volunteers to help me carry the ones who can't get up themselves. I'll come with you, Jefferson. Just say it if you don't want that leg at your viewers anymore. We can, all have, we can have Harold make a new one for you. Gods. Gods wounds. I can't believe everyone's still breathing after all of that. What a bloody miracle. <laughs> Guess she really was holding back. Could it be Kiara Gonder's protection? Isn't it the other way around? A thousand against one and she's still breathing? Maybe it really is Kiara Gonder's prote protection. It's not. Kiara Gonder is kind and watchful, but this result is not the result of her power. That no one lost their life is a miracle that we created together. That's what I believe. You're the saintess of Kyurg? Your words honor us more than we deserve. What are your instructions? I wouldn't call it instructions, per se. Just an invitation to attend the post-ceremony banquet, as this is, as is the place of the host. After, aren't you here in Kyurg for the celebration ceremony? I thought exile would be the best case scenario. We're allowed to participate in the banquet? Would you rather be here for the banquet, or admit that you're here to, for a military operation and go to prison? Fair. <laughs> uh, go on, be my guest. <laughs> Checkmate. Oh, this is fucking hot. Oh shit, that's hot. Santus, everything is ready. The banquet can begin at any time. Thank you, Kiar. Th why thank me? No particular reason, just wanted to thank you. Kyarg is will become a better place, Kyar. There will come a day when people from the outside will know more than just Carl and Trade. See more than just the snow, mountains, and valleys. They will know that there is a country here by the name of Kyarg. A respectable country with its own unique culture and customs where its people will live in prosperity. Sounds great. Are you sure you don't need a little help, Enya? Without that, you wouldn't have any rainbows. Karagander's blessing reaches into the heart with because of how precious it is. We ask Karagander for a miracle every little thing, then what's left is not religion, but reliance. When you start to take something for granted, 
that's when you stop respecting it. Okay. Things are fine in the way it is. Let's just hope that Karagondor doesn't get angry at me for thinking this way. Ha! Don't worry, Enya. Nothing makes a mother happier than to see her child start to walk on its own two feet. That's sweet. Come on, switch to Harold. Enciodes, okay. I'm done, Mr. Silver Ash. This is my first outdoor speech. Are you sure it's, this is going to work? It was perfect, Mr. Mob. Your voice was filled with passion. No one could have, <laughs> no one could pick a flaw in it. Even though you declined my offer to have someone magnify your voice with Originatum Arts, the amplification device that you used, to perf used performed above and beyond expectations. Is this your company's new product? This amplifier? No, of course not. It's good, but the market for amplifiers is cornered by a few big companies. There's no place for us there. <laughs> uh, forget I said anything. I've heard about corporate competition in Casimir's. You didn't say anything that I didn't know. So, what is it that you're using? A gift from a friend I met on the train. They probably thought it was just a toy. Who could have thought that it would come in handy when Mr. Silver Ash would made that abrupt request I see mr. mob Carlin trade would very much love for your cooperation would very much love for our cooperation to extend beyond this one time I'll have someone take you around care for the next few days including tours of the mines and factories please accept this as a token of my sincerity I believe Carrig will not disappoint you hey it's Leto they stopped they really stopped it's like you said, that man in a suit opens his mouth, and both sides stop fighting before long. Thought we were in for a real fight. Didn't Silver Ash tell you guys to get here quick? But it was all over in an instant. Why did the Victorians of the Carrick stop fighting as soon as he arrived? Because he is a spokesman from the Casimir's General Chamber of Commerce. Who? Is that really important? Oh, wait, I know. The important thing is that he's from Casimir's, isn't it? Victoria wants to bully Carrig for its own interests, but they have to be careful when it comes to Casimir's, who's also here for her own interests. I think something like this came up in one of Anna's tests. So, is this why Silver Ash contacted you and Milosis? You're his backup plan? We don't need it now, though. Uh, you're learning. No wonder you're in such a hurry. Stuff like this is a pain. But how did you know that the man in the suit was a spokesperson for... Hmm... For what again? You know him? Uh... His appearance has changed, but his voice hasn't. Appearance. Voice? I guess his voice was pretty unusual. It was really loud. I don't know who, how he did it. I can hear him from all the way here. All the way from here. Oh, yeah, doctor. Did you give him something at the station? A little toy that, <laughs> that closure made. Just a little help. Really? Somehow, I can't help but think there's more that meets the eye. Oh, Mulesies. How do you say that? That is such a weird name. Mulesies is chatting with someone. Should we go over? You have people you know here too, don't you, Sharp? I'm working right now. The one who invited me is probably a little too busy right now. Taking in the view here isn't such a bad idea. Uh, sure. I'll stay with you. I don't think that's going to work. There's someone waiting for you there. For me? Who? Oh. Him. <laughs> Are you not going? Well, there really isn't anything I want to say to him. Ah, this sucks. Sorry, Doctor Sharp. Give me a minute. I'll be back soon. I whacked my ankle against something earlier, and it hurts really bad right now. Rosalind, you got something to say? Spit it out. Otherwise, I've got places to be. Wait, I just wanted to make sure that you're safe. I couldn't come find you in the chaos. I'm fine. The Victorians weren't looking for me. Even that Troby Asher guy is no match for Sharpen the Doctor. That bastard's still after you? I don't think so. It didn't look like he was at fear for me. Well, he's lucky he ran away. Sharp and I would have given him a nice little beating. Don't underestimate a Trilby Asher. I don't like their methods either. But the Trilby Ashers are a big deal. Him? Didn't seem like he was anything special. That's because Enciodes has Degenbrecher to keep him around. Keep him down. A warrior has never underestimated an enemy, Rosalind. All right, you done then? I gotta go. Wait. Three, two... Ro Rosalind! I spent a lot of time thinking about it last night. I was weak back then. The days with your mother were like honey. 
I couldn't keep myself from thinking about her. I couldn't keep myself away from her from the be very beginning. I dragged you and Tatiana into that mess, but abandoned you when I couldn't handle the pressure. You were right to yell at me, Rosalind. Whatever I say now won't be anything more than an excuse. For more than a decade, my memories has tried to justify it. It whitewashes the memory for a man too weak to face his own weaknesses so that he can continue to feel safe, continue to run away. He lied so much, he even fooled himself. It's my fault. I deserve to be scolded and scorned by you. I can't blame you for being disappointed in me and Kierig. I let you and your mother down. I'm sorry. There's one thing I want to make clear. Momochka never said anything bad about Kierig, or any about my papa. She even taught me how to pray to Kieragonder, even though I never really believed in it. Momochka only ever said good things about this place. Tatiana, she doesn't hate Kierig? Why would I lie? I told you, didn't I? She said my papa was a really handsome dude. Of course, I'm having doubts about that now. Hmm? It was before I started with thin with the beard. Tatiana didn't say she liked my face. Wait, why did she tell you all this? Could it be... Could it be that she doesn't blame me? Stop. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Don't count on others people not blaming you if you know you're wrong. But it's exhausting to live with hatred. You under underestimate Momochka. If you thought she would spend a decade hating you and Kierig, you're not worth it. Y you're right. It's not worth it to live in pain for a man like me. It's all for the better. Good. You get it. I didn't know my papa was, and now I do. Who my papa was, and now I do. But that's all there is to it. I don't need recognition from your family. Paula Roche business is none of my business. I'm the daughter of Tatiana. I'm not going to say it. Lorena. <laughs> Oh, what's with these names? Tatiana Novna Larina, codename Leto. It was Tatiana who named you. Rosalind rolls more smoothly off the tongue than Paula Roach. What? <laughs> okay, sure. Leto. Not bad, not bad. A nice code name. At least you have taste. Oh, yeah. This is for you. A bank account? Child support for all these years. The amount is in the back. I rounded it down for you. Please make the transfer at your earliest convenience. Ch child support? I said it yesterday, didn't I? Living expenses, tuition, medical bills, emotional damage for a deadbeat dad. It's all there. Gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Rosalind, the, the currency conversion might take some time. I'll, I'll find someone to take care of it as soon as possible. Rosalind, please, can I see Tatiana one more time? Just once in your dreams. Is this your will too, Karagonder? The matters of the world are beyond a mere mortal's ability to predict. Master? Why are you standing all the way up front? There's nothing to see in particular. Just passing by. You said you just came, became a grandfather the last time you came to pray, Lucas. Yeah! My son's daughter. Good thing she looks like her mother. <laughs> that foreign woman my son insisted on marrying. From, what's the name? Syracuse. Fierce woman, that. Well, at least the kid got of mine got to take her. Were you against the marriage? What's the point? If the young ones are in love. I might have said a word or two in my younger days, but now just let them be. You said you wanted a warding stone for your granddaughter, didn't you? Hoping that some of Kierigander and the Saintess's blessing would rub off, you know? You can have this. This mark. The stone blessed by the Saintess herself? That's too precious for someone like me, Master. Take it. Consider it a welcome gift for your granddaughter that she comes into this world. I'll pray to Kierigander that the children of Kierig can grow up without illness, pain, and so or sorrow. Bye, Kierigander. Bye, Kierigander. This is good res- Oh! It's gonna be goofy! Good resolution. Woo! That Black Knight is definitely more than just a name. I think she wasn't even trying to kill. A little too much for old, my old bones like mine. Sure, your injuries. Just a scratch. Don't want to miss the Saintess's banquet, after all. It's not every day I get to be called Sir by you, though. I think I just lost my appetite for... It's the Trilby Asher, isn't it? <laughs> my condolences concerning your appetite, my lord. I will report the facts for your performance in Keurig and the changes in the situation to the Duke. 
Suit yourself. I'm confident that I did nothing to displease her grace. What about you, Trilby Asher? The waters of Londinium you could muddle, but Chara gives you a little room to maneuver. No need to worry about me, my lord. I have complete the mission assigned to me by her grace. Oh? Kerrig is not worth devoting too much time and effort to, but there are elements that require the Duke's attention. You mean, we thought it was Carlin Trade or Kerrig's geographical advantages as a natural fortress and commerce hub. Seems like her grace is truly grounded. Her visionary? Are you here to visit the true form of Kerrigander? Of course. Her grace wants to know whether Kerrigander truly exists in Kerrig. In times of crisis, will Kerrigander really help our people? Interesting. And your conclusion? I do not recommend that the two confront Karag militarily at this time. <laughs> Seeing that Casimir corporations that publicly entered into a partnership with Carlin Trade, I also ran into a Colombian scientist on the way here. Force is not the smart plan. Winning is easy. Making money is hard. We're not Ursine. It's not worth it. It's not every day that we agreed on <laughs> with each other. Did you hit your head or something? Like you, I'm a pacifist. Yeah. Just talk like you normally do, please. If it may, it saves some time and effort, my lord. Yeah. Are you familiar with this little trinket? A burden beast blind box? They're all the rage right now. Why would you buy this? Well, that's not the important. That's not important. Open up and see what's inside. I've got a full set, but I'm missing the limited edition secret version. No one knows what the box holds until it's opened. The mystery is what makes it all alluring. All alluring. <laughs> alluring. Perhaps I shouldn't open it. Well, are you going to open it or not? I'll have it if you're not going to open it. I'll open it. He got the limited edition. Huh? What's this? What did you find? Let me see. Mother of mercy! This is Frozen Crystal Burden Beast! Secret limited edition! What kind of luck is that? I've been opening these boxes since the first day I arrived in Kerrig, and I've never gotten this one. By Sheragander, this is not fair. Kobe Asher, we're both in her graces employ. Do you think you could? I'm afraid not, my lord. I must stay in Carrick for a, a while longer after submitting my report. Thanks to you, I just realized that collecting Burden Beast accessories isn't such a bad pastime after all. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, as soon as he said, what is this? I, I had a feeling. Can you stand? Not dead yet. I'll be fine in a few days. Good. Gnosis? He went down first. He says he's footing the bill tonight. He has a lousy taste. Pick for him. Okay. You've been walking around the circles there for ages. You got something to say? Out with it. I'm thinking about my debt to you seems to be keep growing from Casimir's to here. One that I don't want to see a way to repay. You're afraid I'd jump ship? It would be a big loss. You want to repay me? Name your price. Gnosis will find a way. Forget it. All I did was follow an arrogant young man to these bleak, frozen hills ten years ago on a whim. A place where the temperature hovers around freezing on the warmest days. Life here didn't turn out so to be so bad, so I started doing what I could. What does any of that have to do with you, NCOs? I guess you're right. You stayed for the land, not for me. I didn't think I would hear it from your mouth, though. And don't put on that act about owing me. Tell the truth, what are you thinking? I'm thinking there will come a day when people from the outside will know more than just Carlin Trade. See more than just the snow mountains and alley valleys. They'll remember the name Kierig. Don't get too excited. You may have won this round, but at the end of the day, you've just gotten yourself even more tough customers. Should I thank you for bringing Kajimirs back to me? And Sio stays silent for a moment, then picks up a broken piece of ice from the ground and points it at the sun. The ice is dauntingly cold. Dauntingly cold. Dauntingly. What a weird ass word. Cold. But it glitters under the sun almost glaringly. Yes, Kajimir's has come. Columbia is coming. Things will only get more complicated. You can't even win every time. Have you ever lost? No. That's too bad. You must never have met an opponent like me. Oh? Come with Gnosis to the Shigata training grounds. I'll take both of you on at the same time. One hand tied behind my back. <laughs> Gnosis is not actually bad with uh, not is actually not bad with the sword. You're in a good mood. It's all done. Three years of perseverance have borne fruit at last. We broke things wide open. 
caster is no longer an ex existential crisis threat. But the independence of Kyrg is no longer a pipe dream. In other words, you've drawn the attention of both arrogant Victorian nobles and unscrupulous Kashmir's merchants. Soon to be joined by scientists with no qualms about moral or ethics. Even more people will hate you for bringing even more chaos to this country. Let them. I don't care. All I care is... Excuse me. Are you the Black Knight? Yes. So it's true. The Black Knight is in cure. Is it? It's really the Black Knight. This makes it all worth it. And you. You're the president of Carlin Trade, aren't you? I've been a fan of the Black Knight since I was five. Can I get her autograph? That's up to her. Do you want to sign for these young folks, Steckenbrecker? Fine. The campaign knights eagerly call out to their comrades. A little line forms on the ice. It's like one of those many small fan meet and greets on the streets of Kazimir's. The campaign knights give Degenbrecker their cards, and Degenbrecker writes their, her name on them. NCO just chats with the knights every now and then, playing the part of a good host. It is all very natural. No one has the slightest complaint. Eventually, the knight leaves. The knights leave. Satisfied and calm returns to the ice. That's funny. The campaign knights, I know, aren't that excitable. Our partnership with Casimir's has just begun. The Adeptus Casimir's wouldn't have sent real campaign knights. This is just the brown tails spending their own money to invite some use over for a sightseeing trip. And it probably took the Black Knight's name to get them to agree. Heh. <laughs> How do you feel? Maybe I'm not i I'm no different from the Casimir's that you hated. You're just another chip in my hands. All of it is the same. Be your identity as a Black Knight, Casimir's exploitation of you your martial strength, and your value as a soldier. Do you find this unacceptable? Now? I've gotten used to it. <laughs> I want to eat my cookie a little. We made the flattest cookie ever. <laughs> Whoa! That's so cool. It's so pretty. The artwork is always so beautiful in this. Let's once again welcome our friends from afar. The doors of Kerrig are always open to those who come in good faith. Let us remember the friendships forged today. By Kerrigander. By Kerrigander. By Kerrigander. By Kerrigander! Thank you for the invitation, Sanctus. Your Ulysses from Rhine Lab? It warms me up that you still remember me. The mountains and rivers of Kerrig that I saw long ago along the way are awfully pretty. I'm sure we'll have a great partnership. Rhine's Lab partners Carl and Trade, Miss Muselis. <laughs> but you're the one calling the shots in Kerrig. Building a launch pad on Carl and Trade is a big deal. Silver Ash was stressed the need to get the Sanctus's blessing. Blessing. I have heard about this from Serencios. Carlin is the spine and the body of Karagander. I must say I have reservations about such a massive project taking place here. Sanctus, Sanctus. Excuse me. What is it, Kiar? That launch pad that they're talking about. It sends things into the sky, right? They build it here. Does it mean that I... Or, Karagander will get a few cannons on her body? Cannons. Car, do you think Karagander would object? Object? Why? Sounds so cool! You should say yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's so wholesome now. Lisburn, what happened? Those wounds. It's nothing. Oh, it's her! Freya, yeah! He was in love with her from, like, earlier in it, and then he would always go down to help her... Was it a farm, or was it, like, a bar? I don't remember. I have something important to tell you. What is it, Lisburn? I... I... I love... I heart snow. The, s the knitted words on your clothes look so nice. The snowy mountains are so beautiful on a fine day like this. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. She was disappointed in that one. Ah, uh, damn it all. The Burke ran away from that? I should shoot him for desertion. <laughs> Keep it down, Jack. 
did you all peep on me like this day back in the day when I proposed to my wife? Come now, Harold. This isn't personal. We do this with everyone who proposes. Is Lisburn really going to propose after a fight like that? What does he have to lose after a fight like that? She says yes, he gets to bury his bones here. She says no, he gets closure and returns to Victoria. It's going to take him the better part of a year to recover. <laughs> you have a point. You idiots. Why didn't you call me over to help? Are you going to let your brother propose empty-handed? No ring? Fine. But not even a flower? It's all ice and snow here. Where are we going to find a flower? Make an ice flower, then. What do you carry your weapons for? Nothing shows sincerity like a handmade, like handmade stuff. What's well, what the ladies like? Don't you understand? Well, you're in a better position to understand that than any of us. Right, Harold? Ice flower, eh? I'm sure there's someone back home who would be very interested to know. Wait, wait. don't run your mouth in front of my wife. I've never given an ice flower to any woman other than Lily. It was just an example, really. <laughs> Bro, are you cheating? I didn't expect to see you here. It's my job to protect the doctor. Same old story. Came to spar? Care to spar? After you've fully recovered. We can do it after hours. I'm still in Keurig then. Alright. How many people do you have who are better than you? I wouldn't mind making the trip myself if there are enough of them. And then I pulled Degenbrecker. <laughs> use the use the to commentate. Use to commentate the night competitions. No wonder your voice sounded familiar. Maybe I watched a match you were recovering. Thanks for the compliment. Not that I much right. Not that I have much to write home about other than my voice. I didn't expect to see the campaign nights here though. The ones in silver armor. They're so cool. I invited them here. And you too, Rosalind. You're a guest of mine as well. Enjoy the hospitality of Kerrig. I must thank you, Doctor. Thank you for accepting the invitation and your little gift to Mr. Mob. It was quite helpful. You had a plan even without my help, didn't you? Uh, save it. I know you always had a backup plan. Uh, it would have involved more effort. Under the circumstances, I'm plenty thankful to just to speed things up by a step. I hope you're happy with our hospitality. Don't you think that you can hook me with an invitation letter next time? Was it you who invited Ryan? Or I thought Rhodes Island was the extent of your manipulation. Uh, let's do this one. Looks like you still remember our game of chess three years ago, Doctor. Our relationship has changed over the last three years. There's no need for this level of caution. You can take part in the credit of the, for the festivities, festive scenes before us. Come, ally. I will be happy to be your guide. Guide. If you would like to see what Keurig is like now. As we could do worse than a shore leave. What? I'll be your guest then, so to speak. One more thing. Next time, if you want me to bring someone... If you want to bring someone with me, just say it. Are you surprised that she didn't come? As an ally, I'm sure you understand what I mean. Clifford is doing fine. It's just that this was on short notice, and she happened to be away from Rhodes Island. If she's busy with her own business, send the invitation earlier next time. I'll do the first one. She'll come back to Carrig next time. She said she'll give you a surprise, the Pearl you. What? Okay, I'll just that one. Glad to hear that. It's a shame that she couldn't come on such <clears throat> an important occasion, but if she continues to climb, then whatever peak she reaches, she'll hear the wind of Carlin trade from the top. That's sweet. Rotados? You shouldn't be here now. The absence of the head of one of the great houses at the Saintess's banquet will draw unnecessary attention. Sirius will take care of things. If there's anyone who shouldn't be here at this time, it's the CTO of Cardinal Trade. I'm sure the director of Ryan Lab has many things that she wants to discuss with someone on a technical position. NCOs will take care of her needs. We want Ryan's lab technology, and they want Carlin's elevated terrain. Fundamentally, this is a business deal. That's more of NCO's dis and domain. I guess you're right. I'm thinking that NCO's must have a dozen contingency plans for today's incident. He put up a good act of being worried, though. Don't it fool you? Uh, that's the kind of person he is. I'm not surprised, but there's one thing that you're off the mark about, Rotatos. This is the rare occasion that he didn't put up an act. Yes. 
It's not like him, not sufficiently profit-driven, too much risk, yet the best outcome has achieved by everyone. Where are they at? You hear that, Gnosis? It sounds like metal coming together to form a monster. I've listened to the heavy noise of construction for long enough. Project 1 is near completion, from what I've heard. You heard right. But for all the effort we committed, even building Karagander's statue as a ruse and building the base underneath Lake Silberna hers. For all the time we put in, the effort it took to hide it all. One battleship is all we managed to build. Wow. That's crazy. We can't hide it for long. Even if Victoria lets it go this once, the world will eventually figure out what we're doing. That's why we don't need to hide it on purpose. Just try not to draw too much attention. I'm sure you realize why Victoria stopped. We must develop as much as we can now, while all the powers are still working in balance. This is the only way out of for caring. Hope it all goes well as you say. Speaking of which, Rotados, yes? I heard some rumors. Are you really going to call the Project One ship the Walnut? Heh, <laughs> <laughs> why not? That silly sister of mine came up with an interesting idea this time. She said that when she has her own kids, she'll tell them that the ship is their older brother. <laughs> Cute, isn't it? That's funny. That's crazy! Oh, is this Rhodes Island? Rosalind? I'm sorry I couldn't come with you to Kierig this time. You took the box to the top of the mountain, didn't you? Well, won't you? Oh, it's her mom! You can trust me. You went out again. The doctor told you to stay in bed. That's her mom? That's crazy. I didn't know it was going to show her. I guess it makes sense that it did, but still. Just thinking a walk isn't fine. All this fuss over one broken bone. I'm getting suffocated. Stuck in a hospital room all day. It's because you weren't careful when fiddling with that jetpack. It was fun, wasn't it? I want to try it again sometime. Did you have the cl the chance to try out rock climbing while you were in Kerrig? No, I didn't. You really should. Next time you have a chance. It's fun. I'll take you on an adventure in Sargon. Once my legs healed, Sammy sounds Sami sounds good too. <laughs> I can't wait. That's crazy. Now that's the end. That was so much fun. For me. That was a lot of fun. Um I loved this event. It was wholesome, it was sweet, Doctor, it was serious. You know how busy your schedule it was is today, yes? so much fun. <sighs> and I reckon it won't be Thank you for watching. I enjoyed this series this part of this series so much. I'm going to put the lake or the rights of Lake Silberna hers into its own playlist. So if you ever want to rewatch it, it's all I'll be in the same playlist together, away from the rest of the Arc Knight stuff. And as I do the side stories, I'll probably be doing something similar to that. Putting it all in its own playlist, of course. Um, the next thing I'm probably going to do, I might... Uh, let me check something real quick. I think I'm going Doctor, to... you know how busy your uh, schedule is today, yes? Push into this first side story. And I'm probably going to just go in the order that they're listed. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, like, and just go down it like that until I breach something current. And then I'll probably do the intermezzies once I'm a higher level. Because I heard that these ones are really hard compared to the normal stories. Um, I also heard that a lot of them are very sad, so I'm not excited to read those. We'll see if I'll be able to read them out loud. Lakes, the rights to Lake Silberna hers was amazing. That was so much fun. It wasn't super sad, but it was still had its sad parts. It... I don't know. It was just super good. I loved that. And 
clearly a lot of you guys liked it too and i'm glad that you also enjoyed it that's it for this video though so if you liked it like and subscribe i'd love to have you guys around i'm gonna start the side story probably as the next part of the arc knight series like i said if you want to join the discord we have some active members in there now it's really nice to talk to some people in the community um it's been a lot of fun and also it's been very helpful when it comes to learning more about the game because you could talk to me directly without having to go through the comments i also have the ko-fi if you want to support hop on over and uh if not go over there and just follow you can check out the thumbnails early for the videos if you just do that that's it for me though so you better have a good night and bye bye